We are following breaking news out of Waterbury right now. A man has been arrested, accused of starting that huge warehouse fire, and it could end up costing that city a whole lot of money. Well, that fire broke out around 9 o'clock on Saturday night. It happened at an abandoned warehouse on Pearl Lake and South Main Street in Waterbury. No one was hurt, but it could be expensive for the city. News 8's Bob Wilson live tonight in Waterbury, where officials just wrapped up a news conference. Bob. Yeah, you know what? 58-year-old man out of Naugatuck was arrested for arson, criminal mischief, trespassing, all kinds of different charges. And they say it was a massive blaze that he allegedly started. Take a look. I mean, it was huge. It is the size of almost two Walmarts, three different floors, 80,000 square feet apiece. It's over 200,000 square feet, they're saying tonight. A lot of ground for firefighters to cover, especially when you consider their safety. They worry about people being trapped inside. They didn't want to go in. They said it was a defensive fire. And then there's going to be the cleanup. Right now, it's going to cost just twenty to thirty thousand dollars just to put a fence around it somewhere in that ballpark to try to secure the area. But then millions of dollars to clean up, let alone the lives that the firefighters risk putting out a fire that was started. When you get there, you don't know if it's occupied, and uh, you do risk your life for uh, uh, something. It's uh, you know an act of uh, act of vandalism or an act of arson uh, potentially, and uh, risk your life. So it's uh, these are, these men and women are very brave. They are very brave, and I wanted to say this is still all under investigation. That's the uh, operations director of the city, Joe Geary, and he's saying tonight, you know, he may have been responsible for other arsons in the area. They're still looking at arsons going back five years to see if he may have been responsible, this 58-year-old man out of Naugatuck, if he was responsible for setting those fires as well. This is an open-ended investigation, and they say as far as coming up with the millions of dollars, they're looking to lawmakers and the federal government to see if maybe they can get some type of a grant Brownstone grant or something like that, Fieldstone grant to clean those up and maybe move this forward to help out the city. But right now, they're still just trying to figure out and put all the pieces together of this nasty fire. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Waterbury, News 8.